has now started. In you go. I remember when the clock stops, so do we. Come on, Richard. Today's makeover is a three-bedroom Victorian house in Farnham, Surrey. We've got a team of 23 design assistants to help transform four rooms. The bathrooms have a new walls and flooring. Harriet's bedroom's gonna have pink walls and an oriental look. The dining room's gonna be painted off-white. And the lounge is having new wallpaper. The lounge. I want to okay. see some paint on the walls. Oh, it's so yellow, isn't it? So we've got to get rid of all the yellow. Remember, okay. Jill doesn't want brightness. She wants <laughs> subtle. So we're going to use a colour called sail white yes. and toasted almond. Mm -hmm. So nice neutral tones. And are they similar or are they quite contrasting? Um, well, this one is this one the toasted almond girls. That's a nice warm colour, isn't it? So it's it? a nice warm colour. Yeah. So all shades of off-white, really. New white sofa. Lovely. Lots of coloured cushions, but over there I'm having that wallpaper. And I need to speak to Wallpaper Man because what I want to do is hang that horizontally, that wallpaper, not how it should be hung. So the wallpaper strips are going to go across. Oh, that's interesting. But very subtle. But what, what a difference. Have you seen yeah. that before? No, I haven't. Uh -huh. What a difference nice a day makes, eh? Hey? Dining, dining room's through there. Let's get through there. Now, in here, I'm using the same colours. So again, sail white and toasted almond. So you can, yeah, you can see the colour going up there, how lovely that looks. Okay, that's lovely, isn't it? And then here, I'm having another contrasting wallpaper, so a patterned wallpaper in the same tones. Okay, lovely. So this is the wallpaper here. It's just a real, real eclectic mix in here, yeah. dressed with flowers and colour. Bab, come on. Shall we go and have a look upstairs? The bathroom hasn't been decorated in over a decade, so it needs a bit of work. These old white tiles are going to be covered with mosaic squares. The different shades of blue will add the warmth and texture to the bathroom, and the walls are going to be duck egg blue. Harriet's room is being painted in a colour called Beauty Queen, but to cover this blue, it'll need two coats. Now, Harriet's room is really, really tiny, so this has all had to be really thought of carefully yeah. with the design. And what we're doing in here is this lovely soft baby pink colour, okay. getting rid of this awful dark jadey colour, which I think is a real over-the-top colour for such yeah. a small space. In small spaces, you cannot do a whole room that dark colour because it just brings it in. OK, that's you see how tip. You can see the light coming in now yeah. with the light colour going on. Yeah, and then we're doing white over there mm -hmm. because the, our lovely artiste is going to do a scene, a Japanese scene. OK, fabulous. Now, bathroom. Bathroom. I don't, <laughs> I don't know whether we're actually going to fit in the bathroom. But, as you can see, we're retiling over Ooh. the top of tiles. Now, that's interesting. That paint. Looks very, very blue in the palette, and it looks quite green on the wall. Yeah, it does Is look a bit green. Is that because of the yellow? I hope it's going to dry more bluer. Maybe let's try it with another little coat on top. It looks quite green, doesn't it? It does. That's because it's going on top of yellow, isn't it? And I must say, my request was for duck egg blue in this room. This is not duck egg blue, it's is it? It's more like, well, it's a bit petrol isn't it? It's quite... Ocean green, darling. Ocean green? Ocean green, look at me. Listen to her. <laughs> <laughs> so, you OK, guys, in here? And we're having all new taps as well, new fixtures. A great way to jazz up an old existing bathroom suite. Change the fixtures and fittings. OK, then, well, thank you for the guided tour, sir. Jill the owner loves her artwork in the lounge. Using light colours is a better backdrop. And hanging the wallpaper sideways will make the room look bigger. The bathroom's going to have white rubber tiles on the floor and on the side of the bath so they're being attached to the bath panel with strong adhesive. Each tile costs around £40. Right, let's have this dry off too soon. Now, Miranda is doing quite an oriental picture here because Harriet was saying how much she loves oriental things, the prettiness of it. So this is... Is this something you painted earlier? That's lovely, isn't it? Thank you, Beautiful. Good luck, Miranda. Thank you very much, Claire. Okay, we're up to six minutes now, everyone. Wardrobe man, how's it going? Now, what we've done here, or what I wanted to do here, was create extra wardrobe space for Harriet. And she'd got an existing wardrobe, hadn't she, that was shop bought. Yeah, we're going to slick it out the middle and build two wardrobes either side. So, really, this is a brilliant tip because we're not just getting rid of her wardrobe, we're actually extending it. So, yeah. she's got a similar wardrobe, yeah. but she'll have three times as much space. Mm. 
Erkin, 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 I believe you're doing the floor out here. Well, the bath panels first. The bath panel. Yeah. But what I'm doing is, I, I'm sure you've, uh, you're aware of this, yeah. what is going on the floor is also running up the side of the bath panel. Yeah. And this is to make the floor area seem bigger, because that's such a small bathroom. A really good tip to make the floor surface even bigger is to use the surface up the side of the bath and at the front of the bath. So it's an, it. a nice Just light flooring, light. reflecting the light, looking bigger because we're going up the side of the bathroom panel. I can't wait to see that done. When will you be on the flooring? Uh, second half. Second half? Second half, yeah. OK, then. Give me a shout if you need any help, Erkin. OK. You see, this is just staying green. Uh, it's looking... Actually, it, looks, it looks, looks lighter on that wall. It looks more blue over there, but I still don't really like it with these tiles. Why don't you just lighten it up with white? Well, maybe, for the, into the, maybe for the top coat we should. Yeah. That's why you should go out and buy a sample pot. A great way of making sure you've got the right colour. You live a few weeks in all sorts of daylight. And, yeah, Because if I'd have lived with this for an hour, I'd have said, no, that's not the right one. <laughs> you've lived with it for... He's lived with it for 11 minutes and he doesn't want it. <laughs> the dining room's going to have two off-white shades that'll tone with the wallpaper. The yellow underneath is very bright, so we're using a paint that'll cover it in one coat, and it's called Solo. OK, 12 minutes, guys. Shelves are going up, Claire. Lovely. So what, what, what I wanted to do in here, I wanted to stop Jill and her family from using this as an office and a dining room. I wanted them, them to be able to section that off. So we've got her a desk with double doors on, so everything is hidden so behind doors. So she can doors. close it all inside. In Harriet's room, Miranda's working on the mural of Mount Fuji, and the light colour on the walls has made the room much more airy. How's the pink going on in here, guys? Yeah, yeah it's well, covering well, quite well, isn't it? Exactly. And have you seen how much lighter the room looks? It looks so remarkably different. Uh, how's the scene going? Uh, the Japanese well, scene. Oh, you seem quite calm. <laughs> quite calm and collected. Yeah. Now, we need, I need to be thinking about the wardrobe, but now he's in the garden. Wardrobe man! Wardrobe man! Wardrobe man, I think the wardrobe man might be trapped in the wardrobe. Sorry? Are you looking for the wardrobe man? Oh, you're the wardrobe man. <laughs> <laughs> the wardrobe man's here. <laughs> um, how's it going? All right. OK. So, so uh, once what... the carpet's down and the walls are finished, the wardrobe can come up. Yeah, let's get a second coat on in here so it's all done. Yeah. Let's get the, the flooring down, which I think has already been cut. Has the flooring already been yeah, cut? Ready to go. Yeah, so you're ready to go, just waiting for them to finish off the painting. Yep. Floor goes down, and then you're the next one in with the wardrobe in space there. And then the futons go in here. Excellent. I love it when a plan comes together. This thing's going remarkably well. Here we go. OK, we're now 17, well, 18 minutes into the makeover. That's that beautiful blue that Richard's put into the bathroom, but looks completely different on the yellow wall. So it's not much of a gauge, but she said she doesn't like bright colours, so I'm quite curious to see what her reaction will be on this. How's the art going? Oh, very well, thanks. Yeah? Very Lovely day yeah. for it, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, really nice. OK, my love. Oh, dear, so OK. What do you think of that? Really nice. I like that right. colour. Like that? Yes, right. I think that's lovely. Is that not too bright for you? Because you were saying you want creams and beiges and stuff. Yeah, but I think that's nice, yes. Oh, I yeah, like that. Good. Well, lucky. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hit. So you've got to keep up with us, keep painting. Oh, all right. See you later. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. Cheers. The mosaic tiles will need grouting in the second half. The sink's getting a new mixer tap, but Richard's still not happy with that paint colour. OK, well, let's, get, let's just go and go outside and get some paint added to it. Seven minutes. How's it going in there, guys, in the lounge? Seven minutes to tea break, guys. Seven minutes to tea break. OK? Well, it's not duck egg yet, is it? The paint's actually called duck egg blue. Well, I don't call that duck egg blue. I call it revolting. Sea, sea green. <laughs> and really, <laughs> this should be mixed in a big drum, shouldn't it? Needs a really good stir though. This does. Do you want to? And I'll carry on. Yeah. yeah. And then if we can, if you can give me a call when that goes on the wall, so I can see it. Right. How's it going in here? Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Wallpaper going all right. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm slightly aware that we have got the other one to start in the other room. Yeah, that's fine. It's in control. It's in control. Yeah. That's what I like to hear. A confident right, worker. Right, right. Okay. So all the colours nearly up. We've got curtains to go up, and we've got a new sofa to go in. And you are on top of the fireplace, I'm so aren't you? On top of I believe you. Can I come through? It's all right. It's very quiet in here. Very well organized. How are we going in here? Very well organized. White looks brilliant there on that wall. Look how much lighter that is. All I'm very worried about is there's no wallpaper going on that wall. 
We've got to wait for the guys to come in, uh, wait for the professionals to come and hang the paper. OK, but we're not even halfway through yet, so I've got time. I've got confidence. OK, guys, you've got two minutes left. How's it going? Yeah, fine. Yep. Coat. Nearly there. In Harriet's room, we're putting down a natural floor covering called sisal. It's made from Brazilian leaves and is very hard-wearing. OK, Marco, if you want to make a start on cutting in, you've got half a minute. Half a minute. Good luck, my son. Half a minute. Okay, guys, you got ten seconds. Woo ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Okay, guys, that's tea break. <whistles> Down tools, everyone. No. Yes. You say it's so casual, like you enjoy it, Claire. I do. I get such pleasure out of it. Tea break, darling. In here, what are the paint is? Mm. And he's got to get on with it. So, how are we doing so far? The bright yellow is nearly gone in the living room. The wallpaper's got to be finished and the mantelpiece painted. The dining room's been painted and all the new shelves for Jill's pottery have been put up. But one wall has got to be papered. In Harriet's room, the carpet is still to be fitted and the new wardrobes need to be installed. Still lots to do in the bathroom. It's just half time, how are you feeling? Dazed and confused. Really? Really. <laughs> We've got no wallpaper in the dining room at all because the lounge wallpaper's taken quite a while. Yeah. Harriet's room, brilliant. Painted great, it, the it? murals going up on the wall. Yeah. And the bathroom. You see, I like it. It's drying a lot lighter. What, what are you going to do? Well, I've already mixed some white paint to the existing mm -hmm. coat that we've put in there, yeah. and it has lightened it to a much, much more suitable shade. But we're not going to have time now to repaint the whole lot, so we need to get a coat on that, on that side yeah. of the bathroom, on the right-hand side of the bathroom. Let's go and rally the troops and Shall give we? them... Yeah. We can definitely do this one. I think we one. can do it. Of course we can, come on. Guys, I'm a bit confused about whether I should be happy or sad. Are we feeling good about this or not? Yeah! Yeah, yeah you sure? Because Claire's about to blow the whistle. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah, good. <laughs> Fabulous. OK, guys, remember when the clock stops and the final whistle blows, it's tools down and the makeover is finished. OK? That is tea break over. Beep! <whistles>